Hey there YouTube, we'll take a quick look at the uh, 2013 Ranger Crew 500 uh, LE Edition with the uh, sandstone metallic. We'll just start at the front and uh, work our way back, uh, see what's what's what under the hood, compartments and whatnot. See if this is something you're interested in. I looked online when I was trying to find this one of these. Uh, wasn't a whole lot of good videos out there, so I figured we'd make one. Had the snaps here on the corners, one on each side. Uh, one of the things I don't like about the hood is that when you flip it forward, there's not really any supports on it. Um, at least it's not on mine. I bought this, I got this used from somebody that may have had it and not on there anymore. But when you flip the hood all the way forward, it rests on the bumper and this plastic is uh, not the strongest. It's kind of flimsy. So you have uh, access to the radiator cap, uh, the overflow there, put more coolant in it. Here's the uh, breather for the engine. It uh, goes from there down to a, a tube and runs the full length all the way back to the uh, the engine there in the rear. Uh, tires, axles, just everything you expect. The majority of the wiring, uh, computers and stuff is under here. And uh, there's a gauge cluster, I don't know if you can see in the, with the shadows there. And a distribution block for power uh, right here to add accessories on if you want to. Uh, it's pretty straightforward. Um, brake master cylinder here, and uh, you know it's got the uh, disc brakes. Can't hardly beat those. Uh, if you've ever had drum brakes on an old four wheeler, they're they're they're, they're kind of saw sucky. Uh, front seat. Uh, it had the original originally supposed to have the uh, the curtains to go from here to here and clip in. Not sure where they went. Not like I planned on using them anyhow. I do wear the the seat belt here and there, depending on what I'm doing, how fast I'm going. Uh, front seat here, it pops up, just give it a little tug on both sides, and there's snaps right here on both sides, and it's got a storage compartment, the seat flies forward, and you've got a big compartment down there. Here's a brace to give that seat extra support and take that out, and uh, get bigger, larger items in it. It's not waterproof, you can see there's some, some dirt and water down in the bottom, there's, there's a plug to, uh, to drain it right there. And then work our way back. You know, the seats is designed for four, uh, with four seat belts. But you can definitely put uh, more in there. And the same thing with the rear seat. Tug here, tug here, slide it forward, and then you have access to the the front half of the engine here. Battery, starter relay, uh, oil reservoir here, and it's supposed to. Uh, Cap says to make sure it's screwed in all the way to check the oil when you uh, pull it out and clean it off. It's a fuel injected fuel rail intake, and then the tube comes in, makes the U-turn, and um, let's see if you can see this tube down here is the one that goes from the front, and then this tube here is the breather for the, uh, the CVT. Uh, fuel cell on the other side. We'll walk around and check it out. It's supposed to be like 8.8, 9 gallons or something like that. Uh, the dump bed. Got a handle on both sides. Just give it a good tug. And it flips up. It's got a little hydraulic uh, arm there. So it goes slowly. You kind of have to force it back down. And transmission. Air box here. There's two clips and one on each side. Take the cap off to uh, get to the air filter knock it out. And that's the, the main filter. There's a, a big debris filter, filter up front that you might have seen. And then the other side of the engine there, all the suspension. And there's that uh, tube I was telling you about. It runs the full length of the vehicle all the way up to the front fuel cell here. And then plastic fuel cell, plastic cap. And then the uh, bed, you know, you have to give it a little force to shut it. And then the, uh, the old Polaris Ranger tailgate here. Don't really like the design without it latched. The sides aren't the strongest. That's where it gets its uh, strength and stability. You shut this thing. And uh, when you latch it, you have to make sure that this little um, tab goes in behind the clamp there. Or if I'll show you this one, if I pull it in, lock it, see that? So take your, take your time, make sure it goes in behind there so it's secure, and then those things can get bent. It has brake lights, doesn't have blinkers, 
And it's got a couple cup holders missed out on the, the front half. One glove box, not waterproof. You can see it's got a drain hole in the bottom and a little cubby hole there for your cell phone or whatever you want. And we'll just throw this seat up here real quick. It slides into place pretty easy. It's got these little little tabs that go in holes here, one on each side. Those tabs lined up, snaps right in. Here's the other side of the, uh, the front here under the hood, if that's what you'd call it. Then you hop in, turn the key on, give it a second, it does this little check, and then you can set it for how many hours are on the machine, miles uh, to the tank, or RPMs. There's RPM zero, and how many hours. So it's whatever you want, whatever you want to see going down the road. Um, so you got off, the first position is run plus headlights, second position is just run and then start. And you have to turn the key plus push the brake. Get it to start. So if you want the headlights to come on, you come one position back. And then you have the uh, drive. So you have one wheel in the bottom, or the, the fully down detent. Uh, two wheel drive. That one wheel is to help uh, prevent from tearing up your turf, your grass, whatever in your yard. And then you can four wheel drive. And it's instant. It locks right in. You have an accessory plug there. Go back through these. And the 500 sits there and idles at about a thousand. And that's about it. If you have any more questions, comments, or uh, if something you'd like to see or explain uh, on this thing, let me know in the comments down below or you send me a private message. Thank you for watching.